typically we'll have a team of about six students working on a project related to industry or research work and they'll take a, a theme that is current in industry um, that might be a small product that uh, industry wants to do some trial work on um, or a, a small aspect of a research project here at the university. A microgrid is um, a power system which includes local energy storage and local energy generation systems. For example in a home if you're in a situation where you may lose power if you're prone to blackouts or something like this, the microgrid, the energy storage will enable you to continue using your appliances in the house even during these blackouts. You can introduce renewable generation systems to a microgrid um, without compromising dispatchable power. Um, so if you've got a PV system, a, a photovoltaic system, even if you've got night time, you can still have power because you've got a battery which has stored the power from that during the summer's day. If you look at the latest government reports on microgeneration, if we use the full capability of microgeneration in this country, we could effectively get rid of five nuclear power stations. Uh, now, you can't just connect microgeneration into the network. Uh, you need extra control, you need extra hardware, you need some telecommunications. And this particular project group has been looking at, at that applied to a small household. So doing the modelling, building that example of hardware. Our project was, uh, was about um, improving the system of inventory and supply chain management by using um, RFID technology. And we had a, a, couple, a few subsystems, and my communication system was meant to link um, the various uh, subsystems so they could work as one, one system. It was difficult. There were times where the team worked and um, didn't work very well, sort of generally in the first semester. But towards the end, we worked really, really well, and we put together some incredible work that I'm immensely proud of. And um, I, I can honestly say that they, I felt that my team worked incredibly hard. I also enjoyed working as a team. If you've got um, different people working on their individual strengths, we can pull on our strengths and then produce a, a final system. And I think that's a, a great achievement which I'm, I'm very proud of. Oh, it's been a massive uh, insight into how, particularly how a project in industry can go, where you spend a lot of time scoping things, costing things, and then um, you know d delays can happen, people can be off sick. Uh, there's a, a whole range of unpredictable things that you, you know, obviously that are unpredictable. Um, and that was the, you know, the realistic aspect of it that you wouldn't perhaps get with other projects. The aim of the project was to develop a uh, low cost and reliable visibility monitor that could be used on the UK motorway network uh, in both the static and potentially a mobile application. So um, the monitor would uh, use the existing road infrastructure, in particular cat size, to calculate the visible range and that data could be fed back for the static system to the highways agency so that they could uh, update um, the gantry road signs uh, and enforceable speed limits and warn drivers of um, foggy areas and for the mobile system it would be almost like a sat nav unit and it would uh, provide real time uh, visible range estimates and advise safe driving speeds. What you're trying to develop you know can be um, is going to be used eventually by the public and you take the long view and you think in 10-15 years time it could be as common as sat nav and you're going right I'm helping develop this this system from the start uh, and 10, 10 years time I can look back and go you know I, I developed that um, I worked on that it's something that's cutting edge it's the first time this type of uh, analysis has been done um, so it's interesting and you know there's great potential our project was in the uh, power labs, so we've um, been looking at high voltages, so looking at the, like 100 kV impulses and also at AC and DC waveforms, and also looking at measurement systems for these um, to detect partial discharge. Now you have a craft like the Boeing 787 and the Airbus A350, both new planes that have much more electrical equipment on board, so they use more power. To save weight, you increase the voltage of the aircraft, and you therefore save on copper because the current levels are lower. But if you have high voltages, you've got more troubles with electrical discharge, sparks and arcs. So the equipment we had actually could simulate certain types of waveforms found on an aircraft, not just during operation, but also during lightning strikes. And we can test some aircraft components using the generator. The um, kind of experience working together as a team, which is 
always a good thing to be able to put on your CV, but also a, a lot more experience writing software and working with, with the National Instruments equipment. It's been very useful. I think the fourth year project for the students is something where they have a significant time to actually spend working on, on a real project. The third year project is good and it's important, but it's much less time in terms of the actual effort students put into it. This is a much better taste of what they will actually experience in industry.